a dream I used to read Word Up magazine Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine Hanging pictures on my wall Every Saturday, rap attack Mr. Magic Molly Mall Good morning Welcome back to the YouTube Chan Chan The current time is 6.56 I don't even know what class I have today I just know that I'm literally on campus I've been on campus like two times And I don't even know where half of the things are So I'm like, let me figure this one out I'm gonna sleep for like 10 more minutes And then I'm gonna like Brush my teeth and shower. Oh my gosh. I low-key forgot about the fact that you're supposed to like prepare for school from the night before. I haven't done that in a while. I'm kind of just used to waking up, turning over, opening my laptop, and going to class. But why do I have to actually drive there? Which, okay, it's exciting, like, yay, in class, but it's also just like, ew, like, why am I getting up out of my room, driving to get to class? We did some eye makeup. My outfit for today, I was debating between jeans or yoga pants. I feel like jeans are like a nice, like, you know, start of the day. But there's also the fact that my hair, it's giving mom. So I'm like, do I tap into that mom side of me and wear like yoga pants and like a little zip up? Okay, so I'm at school right now. Half of me doesn't even want to go anymore because I'm like, I don't like my outfit. I feel like I didn't even do my makeup that well. I also feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't even know where the building is. I have to do my COVID screening. It's okay though. I have my sweater to cover up my outfit and I'm going to go figure out where everything is. Wish me luck. I literally hate this already. All the doors are locked. <laughs> this is so good. This is great. hated every single second of that <laughs> also i think i said at the beginning of the vlog that i feel like i'm forgetting something at home i left my charger i'm gonna try and do like a full review you know a full scope of my day i'm also really hungry though and my stomach was grumbling in class of course we can get either fat bastard or we can do boba or we can go home and have food but is there food in my house Hmm. Hopefully this makes me feel better because today. Let's talk about today. So last night I was like, okay, I'm gonna wake up, do my morning routine. First of all, I was supposed to wake up at 6 a.m. Do my morning routine, shower. Um, didn't happen. I opened my eyes, it was like 6.12. I wake back up again. Why is it 7 a.m.? I got there at like, I think it was 8.15 or 8.20ish. Why did it take me 20 minutes to find the pavilion? Every single person I asked put me in a different direction. One guy said, he's like, oh, just follow her and you'll get there. I was literally telling this girl for like 10 minutes and then she turns around and she's like, oh, do you know where the pavilion is? I'm just like, girl, I've been following you for the last 10 minutes. The security guard told me to follow you. And she's like, no, I'm lost. I'm not mad about that though, because when I was driving here, I was like literally praying to God. I'm like, okay, please. Like if I'm late, so be it. But at least let me walk in with somebody. I literally was so excited for class though, like not even excited to learn, but just excited to like a new environment to not be at home and learning from my bedroom all the time. But within five minutes of me sitting in that pavilion, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I wish I was learning remotely because I just don't like it. Like it's so ew. The fact that I have to do that three times a week and I don't even know where half the buildings are. And I thought I was so good at making friends. Like I was pretty confident about it, but the way I'm just so like awkward, like I don't, ugh. I walked around the whole campus only to realize that I could have taken like a two second walk to get where I was trying to go. The whole day was, I'm literally gonna start crying. Anyways, I'm gonna go home and sleep because I work in an hour, or oh, two hours. I get two hours to myself. That was my first day of school. I was anxious the whole time and I hated every single second of it and I don't wanna go back, but I have a whole semester. Yeah, it's okay guys, stream SZA. Just stream SZA all day long. This is the only thing keeping me going at this point. Okay. Ew. what? You still can't see me because I'm black. Hold on. We just got out of the shower. I think I'm making some pretty good time this morning compared to Friday. Let me just put you down right there. First, we gotta play some music because how are you going to get ready in the morning without bumping a track? Okay, I think I'm just gonna do eyelashes today. I don't know. I don't wanna do anything to be honest. Okay guys, we're in the whip and I'm going to this room. <laughs> She's using math. I have to use a 
a map. I have to like navigate my way to class. Here. <laughs> yeah, it's giving I'm Dora the guide. Explorer the guy. The time is 7.51, so I'm not gonna be late today. Woo! That's so exciting. First of all, I didn't get there late. I got there 10 minutes early, even though I got there and after me, there's probably like three other students that arrived. Everybody was literally there. And I'm just like, what time are y'all arriving to class? Because I'm 10 minutes early and the whole class is here. So y'all must be arriving at 7.30, 7.45. And honestly, I might have to do the same thing because I don't like walking in late. It's so awkward. I haven't really made like a new friend in a while. So I'm kind of like, like, what do I do? What do I ask? Like, what do you do with them? Not like it's like a pet, but I'm just like, Oh girl, this is new for me. Like I ain't make friends in a while. My teacher's cool. He has nice arms, but that's not the focus of class. Apparently I'm supposed to have an ID badge, <laughs> which I didn't know that was a thing. I also have like a whole checklist to go through of things you need. Like I need to do like a mask fit testing, which is happening on September 23rd and 24th. I have to do a vulnerable sector check. I have no idea what that is. There's the CPR training I'm supposed to have. And then I have to fill out some forms which are three pages worth. Also, there is a $500 package that I need to buy. Anyways, I'm gonna figure out whatever else I have to do for school and I'll be back either Wednesday or Thursday or never. That was my second day of school though. I think it went pretty well. Every single time I turn on the camera, I have to pee. I have class at five and I'm leaving in 15 minutes. We went to the library for a few hours to finish. I didn't vlog it or I didn't even vlog the last two days because I've just been going to the library. I tried studying here in my room or even at home and it doesn't work. So if anyone um, is looking to kidnap me. Anyways, today I'm not gonna be late because it is lab day, which means we have to wear the full outfit. We gotta wear the scrubs, the stethoscope. The way I literally just ordered everything on Amazon like two days ago and I'm like crossing my fingers that it comes before Thursday evening. Before opening anything up, we're gonna change into the scrubbies. So yeah, this is the outfit. These are uh, scrub dub dubs Oh, I have to change my pad. I'll be right back. If anyone knows how to put in a tampon, can you guys please put me on? Because I've been trying to put in tampons for like two years now and I can't do it. So I have to wear gutsy pads. Okay, mystery package number one. I'm pretty sure this is the stethoscope. It's the stethoscope. This better work too, because why was it $100? The way this program is just robbing me, I'm not even gonna refer to this program as nursing, it's just gonna be called theft. Our lab instructor said, make sure you bring a stethoscope, make sure you bring a blood pressure cuff, and make sure you bring, I think it was like shoes without mesh. I think this is the blood pressure cuff. No, it's the book. I saw this book on TikTok, which I'm trying to stop getting book recs from TikTok because I feel like they're always overhyped. But this one, I saw like a little like bit of it that was posted and I'm just like, this looks like something I would enjoy. Also, I realized I didn't even tell you guys what I'm doing for school. So when I come home, I'm gonna get into that. But for now, I have to go because I refuse to be late today. I am not gonna be the last person to pull up to that class. Probably gonna vlog on my phone because who's trying to bring this hunk of junk into class? <laughs> Okay, why did I like class today? Ah! I got to school at 4, I think like 4.45 and I went straight to the South Wing. I'm like, I am not talking, I am not stopping. There's two girls there and I'm just like, oh, like, hi or whatever. And then like, we start talking and then, you know, already I'm like, okay, this is kind of good like I'm already talking to people outside one of the girls that I met actually had like the exact same like not career path but like school path as me I don't know I don't even think I told you guys like what I'm doing in school basically last year I was in health science and that was just the basic classes like chem bio English honestly when I chose the program in the 12th grade I didn't really think about anything long term like in high school I mainly took science courses so I was like it only makes sense for me to take science courses when I go to university so yeah I just chose health science and I kind of just went with it and then this year is when I decided I want to switch to nursing so some of my courses switched over so so I'm taking like first year courses and second year courses. I'm kind of like in between. Anyways, the girl that I met literally was in the exact same program as me last year. She did the exact same switch. And I think both of us are doing like the first year, second year, like kind of limbo in between courses. So I was just like, okay, like this is cool. Like we have like so much in common. So I feel like I'm still a little awkward around people, but that will grow with experience or that will, I guess, stop with experience. Anyways, I'm going to go change, get out of these gutty scrubs. And then I'm probably going to eat, maybe read a bit. Not much going on. I have to get to bed early though, because I have class again tomorrow at 8 a.m. So hopefully it is better. Anyways, that was my first week of school. I hope you guys all enjoyed the little vliggy vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye!